Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel, and uh, we're going to continue uh, explaining a little bit how I do my radio listening um, using EIBI space schedules. And um, in this video, we're going to just randomly tune some radio bands and see what's on and have an idea of what I could be listening to. What is really nice of the EIBI space schedules is that they also include a lot of utility stations. And that means that if I'm listening to something that's not a broadcast from an international broadcaster, I might still know through that list what I would be listening to. So, for example, I'm going to go and I'm going to choose to check what's on in the 5 megahertz range. So here we go. Now I am tuned to uh, 5500 on the right side of the screen, but you can see that we start from the beginning here on the left. So we're going to go from 5000 and up. And check out if I have any details of what could be on. So 5000 kilohertz, first of all. Still a little weak, but that usually is the time signal from uh, WWV. And every peak, every signal that I can see, I will actually click on and see if I can hear anything. So there's something in 5010. Um, one of the first things, now this one's weak, but one of the first things you want to try to identify also is language. Sounds like Spanish, even though it's weak. So 5010 could be Spanish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and choose the frequency listing of EIBI space at this time. Use the search functionality of my browser. And let's type 5010. Note the time that we are on. So it's zero hours. This is local time here, but that's zero hours and 43. So what's at zero hours and uh, that I could be listening to right now? And we're going to look at, there's this here, 0 to zero thirty, but we're not there. We're at zero thirty to zero one. So this sounds like the possibility. The other thing that it tells me is possible, it's Spanish, and I kind of look like it sounded Spanish. So the language uh, and the time has helped me kind of pinpoint what I'm listening to. Radio Slovakia International in Spanish. To the Caribbean, that's Y-C-A-R. Relayed from USA, Okeechobee, Florida, which is WRMI. So that's what you get as this information here. 5010 kilohertz from 030 to 0100 UTC. And SVK is the country of origin of the broadcast, Slovakia, Radio Slovakia International. Do not mix the country of origin and the transmitter site. It's very important. It could often is two different things, as this is a relay from Florida. So we pretty much identified Radio Slovakia in Spanish. Let's continue on here and check out what's there. So I've got another one here that's on 5050. So what's this on 5050? Head down. Go to WRMILegends.com. Look for the request tab. There you'll see it. It'll open up tens of thousands of titles. Pick the one you want and we'll play it as soon as we can. Like this instant request. So 5050, zero, zero, which is playing music right now. And, of course, we know it's WRMI as they identify themselves. But let's fake it. Uh, let's, you know, do like we don't really know what we're doing. We haven't heard an ID. And here we go. We're going to check out 5050. Zero, zero. Now, there's this thing from China, Beibu Bay Radio. 
it's not that, and it's not the information we're looking for. So we'll continue with the search. And here, right down at the bottom of the list, it was in English. It's to Central America, CAM. It is 5050 five kilohertz. It is going on from 23 to 05 UTC. So this is a six hour transmission. Um, this is a generic that I was talking about in another video. It says WRMI Radio Miami. So it's diverse programming coming out of Radio Miami International. Uh, it doesn't mean that what you just listened to with the uh, request is uh, something that lasts six hours, but it's part of the WRMI schedule. And it's from Okie OK Chobi, of course, because it is original from the USA. There's no relay. It's the station itself broadcasting from its transmitter site in Okeechobee. So that's what you're listening to now. And uh, let's continue on and see. So there are weird things like here. You might hear some... Uh, this is Stanag. And you might think that, you know, well, this is some weird d digital transmission. Well, one of the things about EIBI space is that sometimes it will show up here. Now, in this case, doesn't seem to show up, but um, it will sometimes say Stanag, and it's going to tell you, well, that's Stanag on that frequency from, and it's going to tell you from where. Now, in this case, it's not written, but this is definitely Stanag. So anyways, we continue on and we tune the different signals like that. And when you get to different things, so there are things I know what they are, like here 5340 is uh, a radio teletype signal type. So if we go into uh, USB here, you can see that uh, it's uh, some kind of radio teletype 5339. So like I said, you know, you can try and see if on this schedule it's kind of showing up as some kind of teletype. Here it's telling you that 5340, where we are, is the U.S. Navy. And TY for the type of transmission, which is radio teletype, and it's for North America. Uh, PTR for Puerto Rico. So that would be our TTY coming out from Puerto Rico, probably. Uh, so, you know, you do have that type of information. If you hear random uh, broadcasts also, they will show up sometimes as uh, they will be in the list uh, for, uh, for example, uh, if you listen to, even though they're not, you know, there are better utility lists to listen to different things. You might hear some transmissions like here, for example. <laughs> So 5505, some kind of transmission in English. What could it be? Well, you look at the list, and here you have 5505. It tells you it's a 24-hour broadcast from something from Ireland. It's called Shannon Valmet for um, what it's French for um, weather broadcast, if you want, um, for aeronautical purposes. It's in English. It's for Europe. And the transmitter site is here from uh, Shen um, in Ireland. So, you know, you can find all the details of a lot of things in the EIBI space uh, schedules. And uh, this is the fun part is, you know, identifying language will help you when you have things. For example, here there's some Something that is 5616, for example. You might, you know, stumble upon some intermittent broadcasts. Like here, there is something that just broadcasts. Now the frequency is quiet. Well, when you hear something like that, 5616, there's something you're not really sure. Well, a lot of these frequencies, like I said, are actually listed here. And if you go actually look at 5616, it's going to tell you that 5616 is used by different aeronautical stations. The one that I'm hearing here, probably what triggered that trace is Gander Radio, Newfoundland, Canada. But there's also a station in Shannon, Ireland, and there's a Iceland radio. Um, 
NAO North Atlantic Ocean, and this is aeronautical uh, communications. So there's a lot of information in the list, and it's worth going through and checking it out. This is Gander Radio Aeronautical. And this is the uh, North Atlantic Ocean um, travel uh, for aeronautical, uh, you know, airplanes uh, between North America and Europe. So these are communications coming out of there. So as you see, it's it's full of details of things that you can identify. And of course, when you get to stations from the international broadcast bands, then you get of course, all the details that are available, and you can start 5800 here. So this is in English, 5800. Let's go check out the schedules, 5800. So let's go pinpoint that frequency here in the search for the IBI. What am I getting in English at this time? Uh, so zero hours and 53 minutes. We have to find something that's in that time frame of zero hours. So here we go, 5800 from 22 to 01. WRMI to Latin America in English from the OK Trophy transmitter site. But if you look at the same frequency, there are different times and different broadcasts. The other thing is to be careful with the days. When you are on 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, what is very important to understand is that the days that are written are UTC days. So, for example, right now, we are on Monday here. This is Monday local time. But at 0.53, we are at Tuesday listening. We've passed midnight. It's the next day in UTC. So, for example, tonight, I know that by being Tuesday, at 02 to 03 here, there's Spanish Radio Argentina al Exterior, TU for Tuesday, that would be on this frequency. Um, if I want to listen to uh, Radio Argentina al Exterior in English, I would have to wait for TH for Thursday, which means it is Wednesday evening, North America. So it's to be very careful when you have uh, some days that are written that means that um, you just make sure that it's the day that you think so hope you enjoyed this other uh, little video explaining how I use it to search for the information of the stations I'm listening to if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching